Okay, the next technique that we're going to study is Suiyoku. The name of this technique comes from the movement which resembles a water bird and the movement of their wings. Okay, we'll demonstrate the technique now, and then we'll break it down uh, into some of its uh, important pieces. Okay, so the first movement from Sega no Kamai, my training partner strikes. I receive in, driving him back, keeping my fist in line with his face. This is important on all uh, of the uke. Then from here, he strikes again to my face. I drop back, hit his arm, and then slap down, capturing it powerfully. From here, again, first movement was in, second movement was sideways, so now my front is facing him. I control his arm. He kicks. My left foot steps straight back as though I'm stepping to Segano Kamai. My arm comes underneath his leg in a sweeping motion. Then I step with that movement, I step in and strike with the tip of my thumb as my left hand comes in and I begin to turn and off balance him. My right foot comes in and I kick with the ball of my foot to Benke or the inside point of the ankle. And then I come straight down. Yeah. And I continue my position right here. He's on his shoulders, he's not on his back. And I maintain this pressure. Dan, if you could just rotate a little bit for me. The lock is consistent. The pressure against the cue show is consistent. Everything to here. So from a different angle. Come on. Very slowly. Each knee san. She. Thank you. And this is Suiyoku.